Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. It is by his blood that we're saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not and cannot lose your salvation. Regardless of what's being teached or taught out here, Lately, you cannot lose your salvation. You can't. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's a simple gospel. It only takes believing because this nation is about to be destroyed. I, go look at my telegram. <laughs> And you will see that Russia is asking whoever wants to leave the U.S., they will consider them. Nothing shocks me, but when I saw that, I'm like, wow. It's on my, tel it's on my telegram. Matter of fact, I'll link it in the description box. Um, this came out today. And this is off of Reuters. This is um, OPEC Plus members line up today, Sunday, to endorse the steep production cut agreed this month after the White House stepping up on war of war, uh, words with Saudi Arabia accused uh, Riyadi of coercing some, some other nations into supporting the move. The United States noted on Thursday that the cut would boast... Russia's foreign, uh, foreign earnings and suggested it had been engineered for political reasons by Saudi Arabia, which on Sunday denied it was supporting Moscow in this invasion uh, with Ukraine. S uh, Saudi King Salman said the kingdom was working hard to support stability and balance in oil markets, including by establishing and maintaining the agreement of the OPEC Plus Alliance. The Kingdom's Defiance Minister King Salman's son, Prince, uh, Prince Khalid bin Salman, also said that October, the October 5th decision to reduce output by 2 million barrels per day, taken despite oil markets being tight, was a unanimous and based on economic factors. So basically, they're pulling out of the U.S. His comments were backed by ministers of several OPEC Plus member states, including the United Arab Emirates. Now, the Gulf States Energy Minister wrote on Twitter, I would like to clarify that the latest OPEC Plus decision was, which was unanimously approved, was a pure technical decision with no political inter, uh, intentions whatsoever. His comment followed a statement from Iraq state oil marketer Somo. There is a complete consensus among OPEC plus countries that the best approach in dealing with the oil market conditions during the current period of uncertainty and lack of clarity is a preemptive approach that supports market stability and provides the guidance needed 
for the future, Somo said in a statement. Mark my words, and I had said this before, I think we only have, what, maybe, I say until sometime next year, before oil production runs out. Yeah, I said run out. This is not good. It says Kuwaiti Petroleum Corporation, uh, Corporation Chief Executive Officer uh, Nawif Syed Al Sabah had also welcomed the decision by OPEC Plus. They're pulling out away. They're pulling away from the U.S., which includes other major producers, notably Russia, and said the country was keen to maintain a balanced oil market, state news agency uh, reported. Oman and Bahrain said in separate statements that OPEC had unanimously agreed on the reduction. Alge uh, Algeria's energy minister called the decision historic. And he and OPEC Secretary General visiting Algeria expressed their full confidence. Algeria's uh, TV uh, news agency reported also. They later told a news conference that the organization targeted uh, a balance between supply and demand rather than a specific price. Oil inventories in major economies are at lower levels than when OPEC has cut output in the past. Some uh, an, uh, analysts have said recent volatility in crude markets could be remedied by a cut that would help attract investors to an underperforming market. U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said Thursday that, the, um, that more than one OPEC member has held, felt coerced by Saudi Arabia into the vote, adding that the cut was also increased, that the cut would also increase Russia's revenues and blunt effectiveness of sanctions imposed over its February invasion of Ukraine. So King Solomon said in an address to the Kingdom's uh, Advisory Shura Council that the country was a mediator of peace and highlighted the Crown Prince initiative to release POWs from Russia last month, state news agency reported. Solomon said on Sunday he was astonished by claims his country was standing with Russia in its war with Ukraine. It is telling that these false accusations did not come from, Ukraine, from the Ukrainian government. You see what's happening? They're pulling away from the U.S. because the U.S. is weak now. The U.S. is very weak now. And this is a telling sign. All you had to do was not, was drill in your own backyard. Like it was set up before, but no, 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 no. Now, nobody and their mother will give him oil. They laugh at him. And I'm talking sleepy, creepy. I'm going to link this article in the description box. This came out to, uh, sometime this evening, I believe. And I'm going to link the other article from Russia. That was off of Newsweek. I will link both of these in the description box. Uh, if anything else comes up tonight, 
is relatively quiet again, which is concerning. But if anything comes up tonight, I will be back. If not, then I will be back tomorrow, God willing. Have a nice evening. Thank you.